Hi everybody, thanks for joining us again. Today's expedition involves uh, retrieving our old Adji from an abandoned dam site at Cochran. Then we'll be bringing it back in town so we can re renovate it in our spare time. This is our rendezvous point with famous Opal Hunter bro, Mick Cook, who is uh, helping us do the job today. Well, he's already gone ahead to assess the condition of the road uh, to make sure it's passable after the recent rain. So, let's go! Just coming into the first ridges we've got through the um, black soil areas I was a bit concerned because we're towing a conveyor belt we're taking it out to the new Adji on Alpers Dam and uh, <clears throat> there was a little bit of fish tailing and it's a bit uh, top heavy uh, you can kind of see in the mirror there uh, the, the road was not too bad I, I don't like uh, driving on these roads after a lot of rain, you can chop them up and that's not, not very nice for the rest of the mining community, so um, I'm happy it wasn't too bad anyway. We shall continue, now, well now we're out of the black soil anyway, so up in the, up in the ridges um, we won't do much damage to these roads, they're more likely to do damage to us. Anyway, we'll keep chugging along. Okay, that's that was pretty much the boundary, so now we're in the Cochrane field. Right, uh, we're coming to an area in Cookran that we used to refer to as a uh, smoko van. They had a, um, a smoko van set up here. So a lot of miners would converge at lunchtime for their burger or whatever. And this is the emus fence line. <laughs> Look at that, emus. I've never seen emus at the emus fence line. That's unusual. Just for the camera. Have a look at that. That's a healthy looking uh, flock of emus too. Hold on. Emus at emus. They called it emus rush. It's uh, they were finding some nobbies the size of emu eggs. Or so the story goes anyway. Just turning off down to Olga's Dam. Oops. Sort of coming up to Olga's on the on the left there. Well, you can't see it now. The main field's sort of downhill a little bit further, I suppose. I'm hoping Mick and Morris is at the dam and we can just unload the uh, conveyor belt straight away. If not, it uh, doesn't really matter. I'll just um, unhook the trailer and head on down to uh, Benno's Dam to help them load the uh, old Adji on the back of Mick's truck. And it doesn't look like they've come down here, otherwise I'd be seeing some truck tracks. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Coming up to Olga's Dam. see all the edges 
it's not a bad setup this one we've got uh, three water dams and bull water supply you can even uh, stop for a quick shower if you need one uh oh come on I don't want to make a mess of things now come on baby Oh, a bit of wash out. Come on, keep going. Don't overbalance. Oops, up, 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 up. Yep, we're good. That's a good enough spot to leave. I'll unhook it and leave it here. having some fun with it. That is already halfway on top of the truck. That's a good sign I hope. Still going. that it's making so that's some interesting noises that it's making why is that is it just catching or something or what yeah when it gets to the yard might have yeah whatever I've, uh, I've got I brought the angle grinder with me in case we need to do any slight modifications I'll let Mick know <clears throat> I've got the little angle grinder with me if we need any modifications. <clears throat> I dropped <clears throat> I dropped the um, trailer at the dam. So we can just, just use the loader. Because the uh, road, I, I wasn't sure how suitable it was for this thing to get up there actually, but I think the loader should be fine. We can have, have a look at it later anyway.
Looks like you've done this before a couple of times, Mick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the front is nearly in the middle. The back is Yeah, I think that'll be okay. Train it over. As long as the main weight's over one of the axles, I guess. This one is when we close these off, I'll get to chop these off. Oh, I might stay there like I should get it. We've probably got to try for something and then pull it backwards anyway. Walk under it. It's fairly soft. No, I like to jam a couple of star pickets in the ground or something and chain it. Big tree. <laughs> yeah, well, that'll work. Chains. Yeah. It's quite a long truck, really, isn't it? That could be fun. Righto. No, oh, well, job's half done anyway. bit close to that corner. Let's check to see if he can go. Yeah, he could have gone back a bit more. bit hairy because the uh, bank's old and the edges are a bit soft so I really don't want to see this go in the drink yeah a bit more oh look at that too easy we're away Awesome. <laughs> yeah, well the front wheels went over the edge, but I thought, holy, but then I saw he's got the twin steers, so. Alrighty. Yep. Yeah, when I when I saw one of those wheels go over the edge, I was like, oh, oh luckily he's got an extra. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just to think we wouldn't get over the lake, would we, or not? Uh, don't know. Because I can get, I can, I can run it back to, um, what's the name of the house? Murray to the first house. And let it firm up for a day or so. And then come out real early in the morning, and then we run it to your place. Just following Mick uh, <coughs> with the AG back into Lightning Ridge. Uh, he sort of needs us to follow just in case um, we come across a spot that's a little bit difficult to negotiate because of the slippery roads, etc. It's one thing coming out with an empty truck, but um, driving a fully loaded truck over ground like this can get hairy pretty quickly so if he has to uh, you know pull over and leave it for half a day or something for the ground to firm up a bit more I'll I can give him a ride back in town which is no worries but so far so good uh, he knows what he's doing I, I, I doubt that 
will be required to do that, but um, better to be safe than sorry. It's always good to have a bit of a backup plan. And we roll. We're about halfway home now. Looks like that uh, road's firmed up quite nicely. We're not kicking any mud, which is a really good thing, especially since we're carrying all that extra weight on the back. Even looks like we're kicking up a little bit of dust. I'm not sure if you can see, well, apart from those mud clods, but that was from earlier. Negotiate the grid. Anyway, so far it's been fairly plain sailing. And I just really want it to continue that way. So we'll see how it goes. Especially for a skilled driver like Mick. Oh, that was a bit soft too. like this it's usually a good policy to pull over for the heavier vehicle and let him pass. Makes it a lot easier for the uh, driver to concentrate on his job. slippery than soft actually so and as you can see that's still fairly firm we're not doing any damage to the road which is good pickings from here on in. So we'll rendezvous back at the camp. Well, <clears throat> some of those old, some of those old trucks have made pretty well. We're bouncing all over the show and uh, <clears throat> it just keeps sort of gliding along. It's quite a, I don't know if it's easy to see but it's actually 
quite a rough track this one but um, you know that edge is not sort of swaying everywhere and whatnot it's quite stable actually it sort of surprises me Righto, we've got it back in the yard now. Mick's just uh, undoing it. A little bit of mucking around to tilt, tilt the tray and drag it off. We've uh, got it anchored to a tree, so get the get it to a certain point and then hopefully you can just sort of drive the truck away and it should just slide straight off, that's the theory anyway. So far so good. No damage by the looks of it. We managed to get it uh, off to the side of the yard so we can still use the yard for mining related activities etc. It's looking good.